So you want to have a fishing show. So you want to create your own YouTube fishing show. Hey friends, welcome to Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey, so I have found that if you re if you search if you search YouTube for the topic how to create a YouTube channel or how to create a fishing channel, you really only find a handful of you only find a handful of videos. So I thought that I would share some of my advice for creating a YouTube fishing channel. Now granted, I have a very small fishing channel. You can find advice out there from John B or Fluke Master, but the problem with that is those guys created their fishing channels so long ago that it was simply a different world. It was a very, very different environment. Hey, the most important thing I can think of to share with you if you're thinking of creating your own YouTube fishing channel make sure that you're going to do it for the right reasons if your goal is to create a fishing channel to earn money or have fishing sponsors then don't waste your time only a small percentage of YouTube fishing channels actually produce revenue or lead to sponsorships. Really the only viable reason to create a YouTube fishing channel would be just because you absolutely love the sport of fishing. If you're considering creating a YouTube channel for any other reason than that, then I would say don't waste your time. Hey, but I do absolutely love fishing. I have, I have been a student of bass and walleye fishing since the 80s. I absolutely love being on the water. Being on the water is my happy place. I actually created my YouTube fishing channel as a platform to share the gospel. So for me it made perfect sense. For me it wasn't about can I get tens of thousands of subscribers or can I get can I earn money from doing it? Can I get sponsorships? For me it wasn't about any of those things. I simply wanted to take something that I was very, very passionate about, which is fishing, the outdoors in general, and use that passion as a platform to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hey, but whatever your reasons for wanting to create a YouTube fishing channel, my advice is do a ton of research before you produce your first video. Search YouTube and find out if you want your videos to get views, search YouTube and find those niche areas that aren't saturated. If you create a video on how to, how to fish a Texas rig, you're going to find thousands and thousands of videos and your videos are going to get lost in that search. Think of a creative title for your YouTube channel and go ahead and just start capturing some footage and experimenting with the editing process and just start creating a few videos you'll get better as you go you'll get better as you go along you'll figure out some of the tips and tricks as you go you'll figure out what processes work best for you you'll figure out what equipment you need at the end of this video I will go over the equipment that I use and the equipment really is specific to each person there's a lot of personal preference most guys have a couple action cameras and a DSLR camera I do not use a DSLR camera I use strictly all GoPros that's the only thing I use I have probably a couple thousand dollars worth of GoPro equipment, GoPro and accessories and equipment. 
there are some guys that have thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Tens of thousands of dollars. Well, hey, first things first, what are the components of a good YouTube fishing channel? A good YouTube fishing channel communicates a message to its viewers. A good YouTube fishing channel is a channel that viewers can relate to. As your fishing channel grows, you create a community, a community of anglers that follow your channel. If anglers can relate to your message, if anglers can relate to your content, your channel will start to grow and you will find that your channel becomes a community of anglers that relate to your channel. A good YouTube channel is consistent. The type of content is always consistent. What makes for a good YouTube fishing video? A good YouTube fishing video is a video that your viewers will relate to. A good YouTube fishing video might simply be a video that tells a story of your day on the water. A good YouTube fishing video might be an instructional video on uh, how to fish a Ned rig, how to fish a Nico rig, how to fish shallow running crankbaits, or a good YouTube fishing video may relay a message. A good YouTube video should either tell a story or relay a message or both. Most good YouTube fishing videos should have the following, should have at least the following four components. You should have an intro. Your intro should be energetic and positive. Something that when a viewer clicks on your video, they watch the intro and they want to watch the video. The main content of your video. It's important that the content of your video, like I said before, demonstrates a technique, teaches something, or shares a message, or tells a story. A good YouTube fishing video will require some B-roll. A-roll is your primary footage. A-roll right now is me speaking to the camera. That's the primary footage you're sharing with your viewer. B-roll is the other footage. B-roll is all of the other footage in your video that isn't the primary content or the A-roll. You Typically you will use B-roll to complement the primary footage of your video. So B-roll might be shots of the surrounding outdoors. B-roll could be shots of your boat launching. B-roll could be shots of you driving across the lake. Maybe a close-up of one of your baits. B-roll is just that other footage that complements the primary footage of your video that helps you communicate your message to your viewer or your story to your viewer. Sometimes B-roll simply just breaks up the monotony of a single vantage point. Your view, your, a good YouTube fishing video also has a call to action. What do you want your viewer to do? You want your viewers to click on the like button. You want your viewers to subscribe to your channel. You want your viewers to leave content in the comment boxes. And you want your viewers to go click on another one of your videos. Because those are the things that are going to grow your fishing channel. So you want to make sure that you have a call to action. You want to ask your viewers to do these things. And then lastly, a good, a good fishing YouTube video should have an outro or a wrap up. Something at the end of the video that wraps up the message, wraps up the story, kind of brings your video to a natural end. Before you start creating a video, I suggest that you think through in advance what story you want to tell with your video or what tactics you want to instruct your viewers. Just think through what you want the video to be. Think through what you're creating ahead of time. You may even want to do a YouTube search before you start creating your video and see what related topics 
other guys have done videos on. See how other YouTubers have approached the same topic. This will help you to get title ideas for your videos. It'll help you get ideas for different footage you might want to capture. Just get, do, get used to doing a ton of research. Find that niche that you can focus in on that isn't already saturated on YouTube. Well, hey, let's talk for a minute about different equipment that you're going to need. Born from the dust and breath into my lungs Then my eyes open and a new life begun I'm alive and I feel like it's time to live it up So I'ma give my all and you won't stop We gon' live it up, 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 up We gon' live it up, 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 up We gon' live it up, 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 up We gon' live it up, 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 up I'm up in the clouds Before we talk about GoPro accessories, my friend and fellow YouTuber Dewey Cash does a weekly installment on his YouTube channel called Tuesday Testimonials. This week I had the privilege of being Dewey's guest for his Tuesday Testimonial segment. I'm going to leave a link above right here and if any of you want to go check that out. I encourage you to click on that and go check out his channel. You will likely want to have several styles of tripods. I like a Joby style flexible tripod for a lot of my footage and on the water shooting. But for vlog style footage I like a fixed position tripod. However the real workhorse in my arsenal of equipment is my Yolotech 53 power stick. This is the one GoPro accessory that I simply could not be without. So with this setup, I've got a high quality camera that captures very good quality footage. I've got an excellent aftermarket microphone in the Ceramonic G mic. And I've got power being fed from my Yolotech power stick. The Yolotech power stick expands to 53 inches tall. Ninety percent of the time, ninety-five percent of the time or more, that I am fishing from a boat, I'm running at least one Yolotech power stick. Usually with a, usually with a Hero Four Silver, and a Ceramonic G mic. The power stick keeps my camera powered all day long. I run a 128 gig card in this camera, so I can run this for 12 to 16 hours. Without running out of S without running out of SD card, at least 95% of the time I'm fishing from a boat. I'm running at least one of these, usually from the back of the boat. And the Ceramonic G mic provides excellent quality sound. This is the number one piece of equipment that I use right here. About 50% of the time I'm fishing from a boat, particularly if I'm fishing from the front deck, I run a second camera on a second powered yellow stick and I run it from the bow. These these Joby style flexible tripod mounts are inexpensive. You can pick them up on eBay for 20 bucks or less. Probably my second favorite GoPro camera and maybe the most versatile GoPro camera that I own is a Hero 5 Session. This is just an inexpensive clamp mount. This clamp mount lets you clamp onto, you can clamp this onto your boat's windshield. You can clamp it onto the gunnel. Or you can clamp it onto just about any solid surface in your boat using this clamp. I use this a lot if I'm fishing out of someone else's boat. But I run a Hero 3 or a Hero 4 on this with the Ceramonic G mic. And this is the camera that I will, this setup right here is what I will use to capture a lot of B-roll. The Hero 5 Session provides excellent image quality 
and it has the best, in my opinion, the best onboard mic of all the rest of the GoPros. It actually has two onboard mics. It captures sound from whichever mic is getting the less wind noise. But the Hero Five sections, the Hero Five session is money well spent. I can I also capture a lot of B-roll using a Hero, using a Hero Three with the floaty device. I use a Hero 3 with a waterproof case and the floaty device on the back of the case. I run this on a small Joby handheld mount, handheld flexible tripod, and I'll keep this boat, I'll keep this camera handy, and if, uh, if my partner or I are releasing a fish, because this is a waterproof case, I can dunk this down into the water and capture great release footage of a fish, or I can put it in the water and capture footage of fighting the fish into the boat. This this provides some pretty good b-roll if you have it in your budget for the extra camera. The least expensive GoPros are these old these old Hero Grays. You can usually pick these up on eBay between 50 and 100 bucks. These are waterproof. They come right from the factory waterproof. I usually put these on a handlebar, handlebar mount and I use these as a net cam. At times I will also mount this to a piece of conduit or to a broom handle for capturing underwater footage. Last but not least, I also use a Hero 6. I'm actually filming this vlog style footage right now from a Hero 6 on a tripod. By editing Part of the reason that I use all GoPro equipment is that I do my editing with GoPro Studio software. Now granted, GoPro Studio software is pretty limited software. Uh, it doesn't give you the ability to do a lot of crazy editing stuff. Hey, but that's pretty much it. That is, that is all of the equipment that I use to shoot my videos. God bless, tight lines, have a great day. We'll see you guys on the water. Hey, leave any questions that I might not have answered in this video in the comment box below.